Say is the fastest layer one blockchain to date, able to process over 12,000 transactions per second. It combines the toolkit and apps of the Ethereum virtual machine with the performance and scalability of Solana. And with their new Giga roadmap, they plan to make it even faster. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that anyone can easily understand them. In this video, I'll explain what the SAY blockchain is and what upgrades are coming in their new roadmap. A quick disclaimer though, this is not financial advice, I don't hold any cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin, and I intend to make this video purely educational, however it's worth noting that SAY has sponsored this video to support our work. Let's dig in. Say was founded by the duo of Jeff Feng and Jay Jog. Jay thought up the idea of having a blockchain that acts as more of a secure, automated, and accessible version of the NASDAQ. While he was working at Robinhood, he was concerned about the lack of transparency during the GameStop meme stock craze where some traders lost trading freedoms. A person familiar with crypto might claim that blockchains are the solution, but blockchain technology itself tends to be slow and not very scalable, meaning that the same kind of price manipulation can happen on blockchains too. A main reason blockchains are slow and unscalable is because they are built to process transactions in sequential order, and they have to be processed manually by the validators otherwise known as the computers that verify those transactions, to make sure they're not fraudulent. In most cases, if a blockchain has 1,000 validators, then at least two-thirds of those validators need to verify and agree that a transaction is valid and that it belongs in a certain order before it can be processed. Traditional computing, like your phone or your laptop, doesn't have this delay because most computers can do multiple things at once, which is called parallel processing. Things like processing your incoming Wi-Fi packets, recording what letters you're typing, or what time it is, have no reason to be done one by one. Many blockchains avoid parallelization though because the price is centralization. In other words, if you have one validator, that single validator can be similar to a dictator and do the work in whatever order it deems necessary, with the obvious benefit being that it can get it done extremely fast. However, if you have multiple validators, you need most of the validators to agree and that takes time because it's more decentralized. So. Basically, we need to find a blockchain solution that can process more than one transaction at a time while still being sufficiently decentralized. This is where the idea of Say was born. They decided to create a blockchain that uses a unique execution environment which allows data to be processed in parallel. In other words, it can process two or more transactions at once. The roadmap they released in May of 2025 outlines many upgrades for their system which they call Say Giga. We're going to talk about Say Giga in a bit, but so far in this video, we have focused on measuring Say's speed through transactions per second. But their latest roadmap wants us to rethink how to measure speed on blockchains. Rather than TPS, they want us to think about gas per second, which is another way of saying how much computation can occur per second. So a transaction can be many different events, either buying a token or selling an NFT or swapping one token for another, or even something huge like uploading an image. All of these events take different amounts of computation or storage, so how long each transaction takes isn't necessarily the same. In one second, you might be able to process 100 token purchases, but only 3 NFT sales. And so if you measure transactions, both of these events would count as one transaction, despite one costing way more computational power. So Say wants us to calculate speed by computation, so measuring gas per second is a clearer indicator. For blockchains with smart contracts, honestly, I agree with them. Specifically, Say wants their blockchain to process 5 gigagas per second. Other than being a fun metric to say out loud, 5 gigagas per second is a huge number which translates to the amount of computation that Google or Visa processes. Just imagine how many people are sending emails through Gmail at any given time. It's that amount of throughput that Say is aiming for. And in their testing, Say has achieved sub 400 millisecond finality, showing just how quick 5 gigagas per second could be. Now, in order to achieve this massive leap, they're focusing on three main areas they call work streams. Storage, consensus, and execution, which are the three basic parts that every blockchain needs to function. I'm going to talk about the updates to each of these work streams, which is where Say Giga comes in. I'm going to get really technical here, but in a minute I'm going to explain each of these ideas. So Say Giga uses a new multi-proposer setup that separates how transactions are processed from how nodes stay updated, thanks to a new client and a new storage model. They also introduce a new Autobahn protocol that uses a multi-proposer consensus with a fancy idea called Tip Cut Block Commitment to speed up performance, reduce latency, and make it far more scalable. Alright, that was a lot of big ideas, so let's break it down. We'll start with storage. Say Giga is making storage, or the way that blockchain data is saved and retrieved, faster and more efficient. 
And these ideas are super complex ideas that could each have their own video, but by using something called asynchronous state commitments, Say is essentially making their storage extremely quick. The state of the blockchain is all of the information about the history of the blockchain. This is usually organized in something called a Merkle tree, but this means data has to be stored linearly and chronologically, which is a feature of Merkle trees but slows down the entire chain. Making it asynchronous means that the new activity can happen without needing to wait for all of the validators to agree on the entire state of storage. Here's an analogy that can make this helpful. You can imagine a restaurant. Instead of cooks stopping every time to update a list each time a dish is cooked, Say will have a team working in the background to keep the menu updated as the cooks keep working. It will also let the staff write down several orders at once instead of logging every single order immediately so that the kitchen doesn't slow down. Next up is consensus. In traditional blockchains, everyone has to wait for their turn. In our analogy, this would be like if a single waiter took orders one at a time and then confirmed them only after each dish was fully prepared. Say's Autobahn upgrade decouples this process where the execution of orders can happen even while new orders are being placed. And they do this by proving that the orders are in queue without needing to read every single order every time. Basically, they show that there is data availability without having to show what all the data is, which is why it's called proof of availability. The most important consensus update though is the multi-proposal architecture that allows for parallel block proposals. They will achieve this through what they call tip cut block commitments. Basically, this means that the network reaches consensus of multiple blocks instead of individual blocks by taking periodic snapshots of the network that validators vote on to come to consensus about the order of the transactions. All of this is like having multiple waiters taking orders at the same time, with a designated server checking in on the waiters' orders periodically to make sure that they all agree, and not needing to wait for the cooks to finish cooking before putting in more orders. Consensus is important for security, and this update will make it harder for any single bad actor to slow things down and ensure smooth service if one waiter or one validator becomes too busy. Simply put, these changes help everyone agree on what's happening faster and more reliably. Lastly is their updates to the execution process. When it's time to cook the orders, or process the actual blockchain transactions, Say is giving its kitchen an upgrade. They're switching from a slow, traditional stove or their current software to a high-powered, pre-prepped one that makes it 50 times easier and faster to cook each block. They will achieve this by rebuilding the EVM client from scratch, making sure that the entire chain remains compatible with Ethereum smart contracts written in Solidity and Viper. Which basically means applications that you're already familiar with on Ethereum will work on Say too, but faster. One major way they can achieve this is that the new client will be able to figure out which parts of the meal can be cooked at the same time without interfering with each other, allowing multiple dishes to be prepared in parallel. Outside of our kitchen analogy, this means that multiple transactions can be performed at the same time as long as they don't impact each other. So wrapping this up, asynchronicity is an idea that is becoming increasingly more popular as blockchains try to balance security and scalability with decentralization. One possible downside of Say's emphasis on asynchrony and parallel execution is that due to the architecture focusing on scalability, in order to stay fast and secure, they are fairly centralized. At most, they will only ever have 200 validators, making them one of the most centralized blockchains. In comparison, Ethereum has thousands, while Bitcoin has hundreds of thousands of miners. Regardless, by combining a high-performance consensus mechanism with an EVM execution client that's built from scratch, Say Giggle would be the fastest parallelized EVM blockchain that so far has had no downtime or outages. And for many people in applications, speed is more important than decentralization. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I really hope you learned something, and most of all, I hope to see you in our next video.